coloring in a sandworm. My uh, mind is pretty clear at the moment. I was watching, I think, I think the show is called uh, Locked Up on Netflix. And one thing that I found twisted in there was um, the definition of love. I don't get that. There's a um, father and son uh, episode where the uh, son did a crime, I think uh, supposedly assaulted him, assaulted a deadly weapon with a BB gun. And it's the dad that called the cops on him and gave the statement. So, now he's locked up. And these fuckers, the fucking father and son, the son's locked up. Dad's uh, out. The son's awaiting trial. And the dad is uh, visiting them. And they tell each other, yeah, I love, I love my dad, I love my son. Like, really? Really? I'm trying to think if I love someone, if I would uh, be holding a firearm at them, a rifle, a shotgun, a pistol, or a BB gun. I really doubt that I would do it to someone that I love. I don't think uh, someone that loves, uh, in my world, if you love someone, you don't, you don't behave like that. But for these guys, that's... Uh, it's normal, okay, to uh, behave like that. And it's uh, definitions of what love is, what is hard work, what is what is valuable, what is this or what is that, what is art. I think all these definitions get uh, twisted. We start believing this is art, this is love, this is class, this is of value, this is true, this is not. And I think a lot of us, we lower our stand standards. It's funny, um, seeing people that, yeah, I love her, I love him. My, uh, why don't uh, guys uh, treat women like, uh, like ladies anymore? And there's people that are just uh, demanding more from others, but not from themselves. Me, I know that uh, I have a lot to growing to do, a lot. And I met people who believe that. Because they clock in somewhere 9 to 5, paying the racket of the 401k that, uh, that they've made it. That uh, That's the, uh, the life purpose. That's, um, they've made it. I'm real careful around motherfuckers like that. Because, uh, I 
Because I don't want to hang out with them and believe, start believing what they believe. If you um, hang out with people that believe certain things that are totally different than yours, I think somewhere, somehow, you'll start believing what they believe. You'll start accepting their truths, their excuses, their beliefs, their convictions. That's a real fucking twist right there. What love is. No. <laughs> Shit like that bugs me because. So many uh, kids. Um, and also seeing it in this jail program, seeing the kids. Um, Say them shit like you know. Sometimes you gotta take a risk. I'm like you fucking moron. That's uh, that doesn't mean um. Hey, how can I be a fucking super criminal? No, you fucking idiot. Does not mean that. <laughs> but the kid learned that somewhere. Somewhere. Someone didn't uh, elaborate. Um, further on it. Poor parenting, poor mentoring, poor teaching, ineffective teaching. Yeah, but the kids should know better. Yeah, blame the kid, I guess, right? Not the adult that um, brought him into this world, not the teacher that. Uh, supposed to be at least conditioning them a bit into reality. And it's beliefs like that that not only put kids in, that, put, not, that not only put kids that turn into adults, turn them into poor thinking adults, poor habit people. But they don't just end up in a uh, jail of, um, or a prison of, um, of concrete with um, three cement walls and a cage you know, and a metal door. You know. Another form of um, another sort of cage or prison is the I don't want to say the simple life, but a unfulfilled life. A life where people believe, yeah, well, this is good enough. I'll get a paycheck every two weeks. Eh, I got a friend at least. I'm at least dating someone. Eh, I've got electricity. I've got air conditioning there. Eh. Why risk this for something else? That's something that could put me out in the streets. Could um, that's going to require me to give up my um, my homie time, my homegirl time, my girls' night out, my boys' night out, my um, my uh, my drinking buddies or football night, football night. Football night, poker night, and I sort of get wrapped up in this and I think lose my point because 
haven't seen it more than once, just people that were, people that were better than me, smarter than me, more educated than me, more talented than me. Tap out. Give up. And you're like, me, I'm, I was just thinking, fuck, man. This dude or this girl could have been, they could have been world class, man. And they're like, nah, I'm alright, I'm good. What's the point? And, and that, uh, that's disappointing, man. But, um, there was a time when I would think, fuck, you know what? Maybe they just need a little bit of uh, motivation cheering up, coaching, uh, a shoulder to cry on, a push, and uh, eventually I just calculated, you know what, um, I could be using all this momentum to uh, focus on myself. to the point that uh, eventually I would need to ask is do I need to save the world or do I save myself because you only have enough uh, so much energy and so much time in a day this uh, sandworm a bit blue because I think it'll look a bit um, since it's a baby sandworm I don't know maybe it's um, a different color when it's younger I think I'll wait just to add more color to it Not too sure on the beetle, on the beetle juice uh, suit. Yeah, but but seeing stuff like that, it definitely you know makes me wonder what is love. What is honor? What is strength? Um, how much is uh, is one capable of doing? Temptation. Temptation against what? Stories are like uh, seeing, I feel that more youth would see would be the kids who get locked up from a young age who, because they wanted to be cool, down, down for the hood, show that they were dominant, make stupid or foolish um, decisions and end up by doing 5, 10, 25, 50 or life. For um, for the hood, for the homies, for the friends, and uh, eventually regretting those times.
So thank you. You go out and hang out with people that just want to drink and smoke out. Which I like drinking and like and I like smoking. But uh, some people get carried away and they they're like, yeah, you know what? Why study? Why practice? Why learn? Why read? You know, this fucking buzz is awesome. But before you know it, the dream dies. Their own dream dies. Their goals die. That's it for now.